Hello everyone, Devas is here. Welcome to another interesting tutorial. So in this project, we will be demonstrating a very good uh, concept, which is uh, how to connect our Node MCU with MQTT broker. That means uh, we know MQTT is a very lightweight protocol uh, for especially for IoT devices. So MQTT by using MQTT communication uh, uh, protocol, we can communicate between the IoT devices very efficiently and uh, using a very low bandwidth we can communicate between the devices. So here we, uh, we are uh, uh, demonstrating a very lightweight protocol, a, a, we are using a Eclipse MQTT broker here. It is an open source MQTT broker but you can also use any other MQTT brokers available like Adafruit or Mosquito. So here we are using uh, Eclipse uh, MQTT broker for communicating between our devices. So here uh, in this project, uh, we will show both the processes of uh, MQTT operation that means subscribe and publish. That means uh, a topic, that means a basic thing in MQTT is a topic where uh, a data should be posted and subscribed. That means whenever suppose we are uh, posting a data of a sensor to a topic, then using a device we can uh, request that. That means the, uh, we, we have to subscribe to the topic. Uh, in the vice in vice versa method if we are uh, just post uh, publishing a data from a device to that topic we can also request uh, from our hardware side that means from node mc side to get that data which we have sent from our mobile that means uh, from client side we have to publish data to the topic and from the uh, server other side we can uh, receive uh, the data using subscription method so here we will be uh, demonstrating both of these uh, uh, both of these uh, um, uh, processes okay so here in the node mc side i have uh, connected a button and a led so whenever uh, the button will be pressed then a message will be posted to that uh, particular uh, topic and that topic will be subscribed in our MQTT client application. So that means whatever the message uh, will be posted to that particular topic that will be displayed here. Similarly, so uh, whenever we are giving any particular command uh, from our application to that topic, that again that top, uh, command will be decoded to node MCU which will be reflected on the LED. That means the LED will be controlled from using our application using MQTT protocol. Okay. So let us demonstrate both of this uh, thing. So first of all, we have to open that application. Okay. Here it is, uh, the, uh, look, it is uh, written subscribe to a topic. As per our code, our topic name is ESP slash test one. Okay. So here I am writing here ESP slash test one okay so here then click subscribe okay here it is written no message received because no button is pressed yet so let us press the button look here i have pressed the button and in the topic details you can see a message hello from esp826 so that means whenever i have i press the button it it has published a data to that topic Topic means ESP slash test one and in that particular topic we have subscribed it from the application and we got the message hello from ESP to success got it again uh, we will do the vice versa that means from the application side we will publish on that uh, uh, topic and that topic will be again subscribed by our node MCU and it will be reflected on the LED side so let us do that to publish here we will give the topic name to publish here my topic name is ESP slash test and the message to turn on the LED here is it is coded ON okay ON so publish you can see the LED is turned on that means whenever I am given ON to that topic it is decoded in the node MCU and the LED is turned on. Similarly, when that in the topic I have given off and publish, you can see that LED is turned off. Okay, that means uh, both the uh, publish and subscription operations are 
done here using the MQTT protocol. Okay, so it is a very good and very efficient protocol. Uh, you should use it in very uh, all the applications using uh, the applications of IoT. Okay, so for more information regarding that MQTT and its advantages and different protocols, how to configure it. Uh, please refer to the complete article which is given in the description link okay hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, for more tutorials this type of project please uh, like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much